Washington State is known for its wine and craft beer, but a lot of folks are still discovering cider. And for many, it begins with a visit to this garage. To this day, we still have people that walk by and say, I walk this street every day and I had no idea this is here, which is so amazing to me. Caitlin Brom is the founder of Yonder Cider, a cidery based in Wenatchee with two Seattle locations, including this small but mighty space, Yonder Bar. We had plans for a big tap room, but you know, when we had started going in January 2020 and then March 2020, the dreams of a tap room we noticed probably weren't going to be true. Um, then they shut down the street in front of my house as a stay healthy street. And my father in law actually was like, man, look at all these people. You should just sell the cider out of your garage. Well, we did a little digging, and after a lot of call calls to the liquor control board in the city, we opened Yonder Bar. Yup, this is really Caitlin's garage. And while Yonder Bar has certainly garnered plenty of attention, it's the cider itself that's truly unique. And it's all made in the heart of Washington apple country. 65% of the country's apples come from Washington State, and a lot of them are from Wenatchee. And not only do you have culinary apples, but you have this beautiful cider fruit that doesn't grow a lot of other places. At Yonder's production facility in Wenatchee, head cider maker Tim Larson and his talented team blend specialty cider apples and culinary apples, like these Granny Smiths, to create a cider that's affordable, aromatic, and of course, delicious. What we really want is you to sit down with friends and enjoy this from start to finish, so much so that you're going to be talking about it with your friends. Tim, I'm super interested about uh, the process that goes into making Yonder Cider, so take me through it. Take me through what you guys do before it gets in the can. Yeah, absolutely. So what we're looking at right here is basically where it starts after what's going on in the orchard ends. So this is our bin dump and our sorting, washing, and grinding line and press. The process is extremely complex, in a lot of ways similar to winemaking. At its most basic level, once the apples go through this massive bladder press, the juice moves into tanks for fermentation, aging, and then blending. And it is directly from here after we carbonate that it goes into the finished cans or kegs or whatever format we're, we're, we're selling it. This is where all the, the various pieces that we've worked on all year long come together in this final product. It's not just cans. The team here is also experimenting with barrel-aged single varietal ciders. Many of those single varietals end up at Yonder's sparkling new tap room in Ballard. Dog and family friendly, the space is a collaboration between Yonder and Yakima's Bale Breaker Brewing Company. One of the most beautiful things about the new tap room is it doesn't have just beer or just cider. It has both, but it also has seltzer. It's gonna have wine from us soon. And I think that's a beautiful thing that you can't get a lot of places in a tap room setting. We're finding a ton of people excited to explore. Whether folks enjoy Yonder at the tap room or in the comfort of their own home, each can, each glass is a product of careful craftsmanship and a celebration of Washington apples. It's all thoughtful and it's all our team and we're all very passionate about it. And I hope they feel that passion and excitement when they're enjoying our ciders.